there are two techniques in particular that are going to be very important in helping to alleviate subacromial impingement. One is to restore normal tissue texture and muscle resting length to the bicep, in particular that short head of the bicep as it's attaching to the coracoid process. A dysfunctional bicep is one of the most important muscles to treat for shoulder pain and particularly for subacromial compression. Our goal when applying a myofascial technique to any short tight muscle is to draw the tissue away from the origin towards the insertion to restore this normal muscle resting length. Soft tissue release is then applied to the distal end of the bicep. To mobilize the bicep and the enveloping fascia, a rotational movement can be used. This can then be applied in the opposite direction, internal rotation with a medial lock and the arm is then externally rotated. The second technique will involve manually decompressing or pushing down the humeral head to bring it back into a more centric or centered position within the glenoid fossa. In order to grip the client's arm securely, the therapist places their cauded hand under the client's arm to grip the ulnar border so it's little finger to little finger. Each hand then applies a pressure in opposite directions. Once the humeral head is moving freely, it can be felt dropping down and the acromion will actually be more prominent. These are advanced techniques and should really be performed by a qualified myoskeletal therapist. So what can the client do themselves at home to help alleviate this condition or to maintain the effects of therapy? Probably the two most important techniques will be to stretch the bicep and to decompress the humeral head to maintain that centric position of the humeral head within the glenoid fossa. Stretching bicep is a little bit more complex than it might initially appear. Most people, when they try to extend to stretch their bicep, they substitute scapular motion for true arm extension. So important to coach the client and tell them that they should really concentrate, even practice this looking at a mirror, concentrate on keeping the scapula back and down, even monitoring this with the fingers of the other hand. The arm to be treated then can be reached back and we can use an object like the back of a chair to provide just a little bit of extra stretch. It's important that this stretch is not overdone. If we use too much force on this stretch, the muscle starts to guard and we now have got muscle shortening instead of muscle lengthening. Using the Aaron Mattis method of active isolated stretching, we're just going to hold for two seconds. So we reach back, use an object like the chair to deepen the stretch for just two seconds and then release. Although you're only holding in two second increments, you will repeat the exercise 10 times to give you a total of a 20 second stretch. If you wish to stretch for 30 seconds, you simply increase the number of repetitions to 15 and so on. The position of the hand can alter which part of the bicep is being stretched and it's good to alternate and see where do you feel it most, starting with the palm back, palm in towards the side of the body, palm facing forward, palm facing out. For me, today, I feel it most with the palm facing forward, so that's the position I'm going to stretch in today. This may change. As the muscle starts to respond to stretching, you may find that other positions start to meet a different restriction as your range of motion increases, and you can alter the stretch to stretch the tight portion of the muscle on a given day. The second part of our home care is going to involve the use of a stretch rope, stretch strap, or a simple yoga strap. This is going to be placed over the top of the humerus. And it's important that we don't have this sitting on the shoulder cap because then we'll just be pulling on the entire shoulder girdle. Instead, what we want to do is to be able to pull down and pull the humeral head down. We're going to do this with a little bit of movement, very similar to the manual therapy technique that we saw in our myoskeletal techniques. So here I'm going to pull down on the humerus and roll the arm back and forth. We can release and then pull again. Because the tissue is somewhat viscoelastic, it helps to hold the stretch for a little while and then give us a small amount of rest and repeat the maneuver, mobilizing the joint and the surrounding tissue. I hope you enjoyed this short video on subacromial impingement and found it useful. If so, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in finding out more about training or our international seminars, you can find details on our website, it's hcd.ie. And if you'd like us to travel to your area to provide a seminar, you can get in touch with us by emailing info at hcd.ie. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.